When traders talk about the value of an option contract, they tend to use a common set of terms. These terms include time until expiration, time value, intrinsic value, and moneyness. Moneyness is a term to describe whether a contract is either in the money, out of the money, or at the money. A call option is said to be in the money when the future contract price is above the strike price. A call option is out of the money when the future contract price is below the strike price. For a put option, the contract is said to be in the money when the future contract price is below the strike price and out of the money when it is above the strike price. The term at the money refers to the strike that is closest to the underlying futures contract. When this happens, both the call and the put option will be at the money at the same time. The terms in the money and out of the money refer to the option contract itself and do not represent the profitability of your trade. Nor does it depend on whether you have bought or written the option. When an option is in the money, it is said to have intrinsic value and said to have no intrinsic value if it is out of the money. When an option expires out of the money, traders will say the contract has expired worthless. Intrinsic value is the value of the option if it expired at this moment. Up to this point, we described the value of an option contract at the point of expiration. But what is the value of the contract before expiration? The value of an option is comprised of two parts, the intrinsic value and the time value. When added together, they give you the option value. When an option contract expires, the time value would be zero. At this point, the option value is equal to the intrinsic value. Let's look at an example when the option has time value greater than zero. Suppose a call option will expire in one month. Here, the option value will be higher than the intrinsic value. Even as the futures contract price moves around, the option value will still be greater than the intrinsic value. That difference is the time value. As time moves towards expiration, the time value shrinks or decays. You can see the entire option value will always be greater than the intrinsic value until it reaches expiration. There you have it. You now know how to use terms like moneyness, time value, and intrinsic value to express the value of a put or a call option.